when you're dealing with professionals and you're getting conflicting stories and it's all going to happen tomorrow, I, I get a little bit concerned because these are professionals. These are the guys that are monitoring you when you're out. Here you get to see what some of these home workouts look like. There's my cane. I use this for pointing and for walking. Tomorrow I'm going back into surgery so they can close this foot. I'm a little bit annoyed. There was a bone that was sitting in the wrong place. It broke off. And for the last 50 years, I, ha I actually haven't been able to walk the way that I should be. So I'm thinking of doing the gloom and then I come here and you say everything's fine. Yeah, I'm just wondering um, when it may all close. It will close, definitely. Okay. I started off by getting massages and even got a knee cleaned out more surgery. I bought the very best shoes and something was never right. And then eventually I got my ankle looked at, took an MRI. We realized that my foot had been broken and there was a bone that was broken from the top and settled halfway down. So that had to be taken out. I also had a torn ankle that had to be repaired and two of the ligaments that come down the side of the calf, one of them is ruptured and I'm not sure how all this happened. At some stage, I must have rolled my ankle. <laughs> This is closed, this is closed, this is what sits down with it closed, alright? And it's nice and pink, before it was red. <laughs> There's my foot, I've got it resting on the preacher bench, it's got to stay elevated. What the hell are we training in? This is, <laughs> it's my home gym, it's just gym equipment sprawled out all over the driveway. I've got a dumbbell rack hidden under all that, that goes up to a 130 pound dumbbells. I've got equipment all around the house. When you came to me, you were 70 kilos. I was before with another 50. We bring my weight up. I was feeling good about it, but then I was getting a full belly, so I didn't like it. She got him to bulk up. He didn't want to bulk up. She couldn't get him to lose weight. Then she brings him up to me, pumped up after he's done a chest workout, trying to get me to tell him how great he looked with all the extra size and don't look at his stomach because it's fat. That's not the way to do it. The shoulders the waistline and the calves. Once you have those three areas developed, everything else can be mediocre and you'll still look like a really good professional bodybuilder. Then I got you down, you lost body fat. This kid has done really well. He's actually put on 10 kilos of solid muscle. This guy listens. And you, you know when somebody listens because they actually get the results that they're after. When you know it's muscle because your body fat percentage has come down and he's gotten heavier and he's holding it. He's gained 10 kilos of muscle, but I made sure that he never trained heavier during that growth cycle than he did at any other time. So he went through a period of time where we pushed him really hard. He did a training cycle which helped him put on 20 pounds of muscle. That's a lot. With the food, the supplements and the brief workouts, we were able to achieve that. And now I want to take him to the next level, but I want him to hold it for a while to make sure that the body realizes it owns it. If he was to start dieting now, especially since he's not using anything of enhancement, I want him to be careful holding on to this mass because he's young and he's got a lot more mass to put on. And this is his first real lesson on how to gain mass. So what we're going to do now to make sure that it's kept, I want you to be in a position where you can hold it for six months or increase it while we're keeping the body fat low. This is bodybuilding. And it's very simple because what we did this time was not what other people do. We pretty much stuck to a certain standard routine which didn't overtrain you. When we did it, it was hard, it was brief. And I think people would be surprised if they knew how brief you actually trained because most people won't want to do it. Are you pleased with this result? Yes, it's the first time that I got that weight but with no belly. Now I think my weight is good, my body shape, I like it too. I like it too. Louise is a single, Colombian, very good looking and available. If you like it, share it.